Nice and slow, so DJ turn these lights on low. Come and meet me on the dance floor. Play something nice and slow. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the motherfucking After Zardy Podcast. And we here again on the motherfucking Thursday night at 8 p.m., 9 p.m. I don't know if it's double header, but we here motherfucking again. And like always, y'all let me in y'all house time and time again. I thank y'all for that, but. I don't come nowhere alone because, you know, when bitches get drunk, they like to jump people and I ain't going nowhere alone. So I pulled up in my motherfucking car, picked up two of my motherfucking friends, and they here with me. And I'm from the motherfucking South, and, you know, I already spoke. Y'all already know the fuck I am, but I don't know where the fuck they from, right? So y'all need to go ahead and speak. Let them know the fuck, because we ain't they motherfuckers. Don't be fucking rude. So I'm start right here with black shit. We all both got black shirts on, but sleeves, and go ahead. It's your boy, Rich. You know I'm checking in. Check my IGs. Icy Rich. Her clock ticks. Check in. <laughs> hey, I'm from the clock. All right. But like always, before we get motherfucking started and get to nitty gritty and shit like that, y'all, you know, we got to take a motherfucking shot. Yeah, actually, it's going to be our motherfucking bottle boy, the motherfucking night, because he's in the middle seat. You already know the bottle about how they go, right? And then, you know, bro down there got his own bottle and shit like that. So go ahead and pause a shot, too. You know, pull me a shot. They've been forgetting about me with the shots. So let's pause the shot, because we can't start. Make sure y'all pull y'all shot at home. Grab your lime maritas, your four locos. Yes, with that good no palm of sun. Um, and hey, shit, grab your black and mild, your cigarettes, whatever you need to get started with the night, man. You know, shut her home. What's that shit that you be drinking all the time? Uh, no, uh, damn, you be drinking that shit all the fucking time. Nah, it's not Don Hoodie. What is it? 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 Oh, your 40s. You got your 40s. Oh, yeah, you gotta go to Coke 45. I thought you were gonna drink my Huh? All the good malt liquors. I don't even know what the fuck a malt liquor is. The forties. Beers and shit. The forties nah. that he talking about. I drink like cider and shit. Of course. Alright, clink them at home. Grab your motherfucking shit. Clink them at home, man. Yo, shot. Tap your bitch. Take a shot. Well, <sighs> let's talk about it. It's 2022, and summertime is here. It's approaching. It's hot as fuck outside. Gas prices are not going down no time soon, and by August, gas is going to be $6 a gallon. I hope we all know that. But what I do want to discuss is when summertime come, niggas get weirder and weirder and weirder, right? Y'all niggas get weird during the summer? Yes? Say yes. Hell yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, nah, I come alive. Come alive in the summer, right? Yeah, yeah. So basically, I was watching this video the other day, and I was trying to, you know, I just wanted to discuss it because I feel like it's a common thing that I feel like happens. I'm not saying y'all do that shit. We're going to talk about niggas in general. But I be realizing that, like, one time I was chilling with my partner, he was, we was talking about going to this party, and he was like, oh, yeah, we finna bring a hoe, yada, yada. He was like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna get a bottle, and I'm gonna get them hoes drunk so I could fuck some. A lot of niggas like Sheesh. that, bro. And I was just like, damn, <laughs> you know, play ass, lame ass nigga gotta get this hoe drunk to fuck. Like, what is that? Like, I feel like why niggas be on that type of shit? Like, why, they, why, like, cause I ain't gonna, I'm, I'm sure you can look back in your head right now. I know you got like three partners that be doing that weirdo ass shit. <laughs> So right. like, what is that? Cause I ain't gonna lie, I feel like every nigga done did it before. Every nigga had that mindset before. We not gonna lie now. Yeah, no. But I feel like like why? Like why do niggas feel like they gotta get people drunk to fuck? Niggas like shit easy. You don't like easy pussy? Hell no, I don't. To yeah, me, but that's pussy? not that's yeah, not I don't. That, that's not easy pussy. That's like creep pussy. Yeah, like for shit show. You you gotta get her like almost you, you out of her that. mind. Yeah. You really stole it. She don't even remember what happened, but yeah. you do. That's lame and yeah. creepy. Especially if that's your intentions. Like, if you really just pop out and you, you know, you go have a good time, get drunk, and you catch something, you know, that's cool. But if that's your intentions, you going like creeping, nah. Niggas be like that, though. You bizarre. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> so another thing I realized is coming right, I ain't gonna lie. So I thought that was just some white people shit. I'm gonna keep it a book. Niggas really be out here lacing people. Yeah. Like, niggas legit will drop some shit in a bitch drink. Fuck a drink. Shit, niggas will legit drop too. something in the whole bottle in the section. Right, and have everybody too. fucked up. Fuck your gender. Everybody fucked up. Oh, yeah. Like, if nigga want to creep, he going to creep. And Molly Water was popping? Oh, don't go to the club. When what was popping? Molly? Molly? 
I don't even know what that. Uh, Molly Water. I, mean, I, was Molly. A kid. I was a kid during that time. But Gramps. you heard about it. I, I know Molly Water. I'm just saying, but you heard about it. Nah, for sure. So I feel like this, right? So I feel like we live in a generation, right? Where I feel like a lot of times that people, okay, so like y'all remember a long time there was a celebrity, we're not gonna say her name. There was a celebrity that basically got like in trouble for basically like, she was basically how like she be drugging niggas to like get their money and shit like that, right? Mm -hmm. So do y'all ever feel like there's a like, that's common, do, like common with niggas nowadays? Like do you see like, do y'all feel like niggas get drugged and shit like that by bitches? Or do y'all feel yeah. like it's like a one track thing? I mean, it's, it's still both sided, but I mean, I mean, both sides do it. It ain't just like no male thing. It's not a female thing. Both sides do it. Hey, Females yeah. rob niggas and niggas rob females. Yeah, but but bitches really be like they own it right now. Bit, bitches are but a bitch really a fuck you and set you up. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Bitch really get Take you, you fucked up too, nigga. Facts. And then you lacking and have some niggas come running your shit up. You know what I'm saying? Facts. So y'all ever let a bitch like be homosexual with you, like basically moving to your house because no. you, you thought that shit was fire? Wait, what? Like basically like a bitch that ain't had shit for herself, but like you just start tricking on that hoe. Never. Nah. You ain't never tricked on a bitch. Two player. We Houston. Yeah, nah, bro. I try to tell you. Oh, yeah, exactly, God. Only bro. girl, if I spend money on you, you with my bitch or my gal. I'm oh, good. Never. Never. I mean. If I fuck with you tough, like if you need help, I help you out. But I ain't just, I'm not tricking. What's the most y'all spent on a bitch before you fucked? Nothing. <laughs> I ain't spend no I ain't money gonna on you. Say I ain't spend a dollar. Like you, know, you don't go on a date and shit like that. But what you mean, like buying something or like? What do y'all think? Well, every time y'all ask, ever ask, because some people like, what be you like, mean buying something. Right, so do you, you buy pussy? Like the fuck transaction? Nah. Yeah. Nah. <laughs> I won't be real, bro. I'm just not one of them niggas, bro. It's niggas out here that that trick and buy girls and you know what I'm saying. They got it like that. Me, a bitch gonna fuck with me just. I'm type of nigga that I am, being a real nigga, and if she don't want to fuck with me, that's cool. It's a million bitches in this world, but yep. I ain't just got to just spend all my money on a bitch, bro. So have you, you ever bought girl? pussy? Huh? No. Have you ever bought pussy? No. Nah, I never paid, never. like, hey, I'll give you this money. It's an exchange. No, pussy. never. No. Nigga, what? I'll give you this money. You give me that pussy. No, I don't think nah. that's how it goes. But I think I it's don't... more like a... How much are your rates? Okay, no, uh, let's, yeah. say, let's, 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 let's scenario base. All right, so, like, if let's say you had to buy pussy, right? Like, mm -hmm. you can't get pussy for free. How would y'all walk up? How would you pursue it? Like, how would you do it? I ain't gonna lie. If it's for sale, like, it's no action. Shit. Go. What you mean? Like, sing. Go. Act it out. I'm, I need the scenario. Like you saying, like it's like a bitch. You want some pussy? Like it's a up, store. Like, like, give me a scenario. Like, what you mean? Like, I don't know. Yeah, a store. I guess. Walk in a store. So I'm gonna go and ask what I want. Like you do any other <laughs> store. Are you gonna say like, "Good morning, ma'am." Man, I'm gonna be polite. It's like a restaurant. Yeah, a restaurant, yeah I'm gonna be polite because you don't want to know. You know, like a restaurant of pussy. I'm like pretty a sure just like your food, your service gonna be the same way. You rude to them, shit. You gonna get a rude product. Mm -hmm. All right, so I feel like this, right? So, hey, I ever fuck like some hoes that like you take to the grave, like some like yep. some like some like on a grading scale, like some elves. Oh no, I ain't never pop no elf. A D. I say yes. A, you said a, a B? C plus. A D. A C plus. A D is still pretty cool. A B C D. It's passing, but nah. Still got, yeah, that's I mean, like I don't a, that's think not I got even no D. Like nah. Nigga, you fucked a D before. I ain't gonna lie, report call matter. Uh, yo, poor for sure. Man. All right, so when you fuck the D, right? So is that like a hoe? Like if they hoe say something you in public, you like? Bitch, I didn't don't talk say to me. I did. I didn't. I, I just said that. I'm just not talking about it. Like, I man. said that's not a D. Probably not even that bad. I ain't got like you got to think about a D bad, bro. A, a D is F bad. Right there, bro. Uh, we got to think about. We ain't talking about grades. I mean, if you get a D, you still going to some school. We talking Looks. about a female. I'm just. I'm just saying, bro. I'm just showing some love, bro. Me. Oh, they all get love, you know. I ain't never touched nothing that was fucking. Out of like, I, I had to be attracted to you to even touch you or let you Facts. touch me, bro. Cause I, I always to. look at the risk you taking. Like, <laughs> you still, it's, it's still. What risk are you taking? She can get them pregnant. That's Nigga, a possibility. A That's a scrap. You right. That, you right. Rest of the possibility though. How? It what you mean? Well, ninety nine point nine. Okay, Congress we get it. We get this with smart Congress, Break anything can happen. Like. More majority of people walking around, shit, condom babies, baby, baby birth control hey, babies. I know niggas that throw on a condom. And slang that thing on anything walking. <laughs> no true. bullshit. I know niggas that fucking uh, man. I know niggas that be okay. So look, how often do y'all honestly? Okay, I know y'all like. I'm sure y'all some clean ass niggas, right? But like prior to y'all like being these type of niggas, right? Like when you was out here having your, are y'all in the whole face? Shit. <sighs> summer, summer, summer time. Hell yeah. I feel you. Okay. I hear you. J JB, you in the whole face? Uh, I already had a lot of fun when I was a little younger, bro. I'm so chill. I bro. ain't wild with it, but here you So let's talk about y'all prom hoe phase. Like, you was prom time hoe phasing, right? Shit. Like, was y'all getting tested every time y'all was fucking them hoes raw? 
fuck whoa, no. Whoa, whoa, what? <laughs> so did y'all like, H. did y'all ever have like a scare? Like when y'all was like, I ain't gonna lie to you. Like it was one time when I realized like I was out here wilding and like I ain't gonna lie, my neck started itching. And I was like, oh fuck, I got HIV yeah, all of nah. a sudden. Like I got nervous. That's just like the mental. That always happened. Like you can get a pimple on your face. You I extremely go to HIV. Like, I automatically think it's HIV. Hell no. Nah. What do y'all be thinking it is? When you ever like you have a scare, what you be thinking it is? Burn, gonorrhea. I straight go to HIV. Shit, that's that's niggas concerned though. Y'all don't care about each other. Shit, I'm gonna go to the doctor. Damn near. So you don't ever, you don't ever like self diagnose Webb and D your shit. Hey, I, I ain't Bro, when I was younger. Oh I God, you Webb and D some shit. They always gonna say it's HIV. Yeah, you have it's a the stomach ache, that's you why have I HIV all of a sudden. Wait, what? Bro, if you go to Webb and D and say you have a stomach ache, they're gonna tell you have AIDS. Whatever you look up, though, it's gonna say HIV. You can say your eyes swelling up. Like Sign of HIV brain tumor or some shit like. <laughs> WebMD is part of the worst shit you can look. WebMD is motherfucking. I don't know. That shit is. That shit. Look that shit up. Damn. I never heard of it. And you get a chance to look that shit up, bro. Okay, so I feel like this. So with both of y'all, right, I feel like, do y'all feel like y'all have, so I feel like girls have pretty privilege, right? So I feel like, what y'all think y'all do? Y'all call yourself like, well, we already know what one call itself. But do you call yourself like a pretty boy? What you think you is? Hell, I'm handsome. I mean, I, don't, I ain't got to be honest, females call me pretty or handsome or beautiful, but I don't just. We going to group all that shit together. because you know, like Put myself yeah. in that category. All right, so do y'all feel like y'all have like, for lack of words, I'm relating to like what they call bitches. Y'all think I have pretty privilege? Bro, if you're a great-looking person, yeah. you're going to have privileges, whether you're a yeah. male or a female. So what do y'all think your privileges are? Shit, damn it, whatever I want it to be. What the fuck I ain't saying mean? I can get whatever I want out of somebody, but shit. I could say If that. I want something, shit, I'm going to get it. If I really wanted to, yeah. I could probably get yeah. or do whatever. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about do whatever. That's different. No, nah, I'm saying like if I wanted to if, if I wanted <laughs> to do like, if I wanted like to do like whatever <laughs> I wanted to do with this woman, she's probably gonna let me do oh, it. With her. That's yeah, what I yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah, okay. okay you know what I'm saying okay. no weird shit. Yeah. But and you said, nigga, I feel like I look like a fucking pretty boy. But like, if you know me, you know me, nigga. I'm not no fucking pretty boy. I know some real pretty boys. Like, oh, factual. Niggas get their eyebrows done. Like, yeah, they they don't want to be there. Niggas way pretty to eyebrows. Huh? Come on now. You think eyebrows? I mean, they, they, they go I'm too talking about they keep like, their eyebrows up, yeah. nigga. Like up to date every two weeks. Like hmm. these niggas is. They care about a lot of shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I feel like this. So in 2022, I feel like a common thing that we don't really discuss. I just asked him to make a call, too. The hell already out. But, okay, so in 2022, right, I feel like this. A lot of times I feel like people mistake, like, this is trigger. Sorry, y'all. Trigger warning. Here we go. Beep, beep, beep. Trigger warning. So clock out. All right, so. Y'all, y'all know niggas get raped, too? Do y'all believe niggas can get raped? Let's say that. On some hey, drug yeah. shit? I don't, I don't. Yeah, hey, drug yeah. rape, yeah, but Fuck I don't drug, like in general. Yep. I, yeah, but it's so it's not just it's not just I'm, I don't know. niggas raping I, females. I don't know how I look at it. Like it's, it's not it's the same manner. It it's not the same manner. Women like, be raping women, women ain't just happens. Yes, they are, bro. It, it, explain it. I'm bro, I'm it's about it's this. teachers. Oh, that's that's, that's like fucking Oh, that's middle this. school and elementary kids. They're nah, okay, that's, yeah, that's that's militia sure, type that's shit. Sure. Like, that's yeah, that's yeah, molestation. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, what you mean, like rape, rape? Like that's what I'm saying. Like it's a different no, type of rape. No, rape and molestation, like, two different things, right? A nigga might pass out and wake up with a girl on his shit. It's happened before. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that's what I'm saying. Like what you mean, like rape? You know what I'm saying? That happens. Yes, for shit, y'all. Yes. Or nigga, I don't know. Okay, so I feel like this. So there's some people that we know in the limelight, right? They have like kids who are young as fuck, and they be like send their kids to like go to the strip club with them and be like all on top of bitches. Like they be wanting their child to fuck bitches, right? I feel like that shit is foul as fuck. It's to be sexualizing your to sexualize your child. Man, I, I ain't gonna say I'm biased about it, but shit, it's a. I am. But I feel like every I man know is, people that's, that's growing up like that, and it's pros and cons to it. Like there's no pros to it. I, well, I, yes, it is a negative thing, but in the light, I'm gonna look at it like. They, they, they bro, became got, adults you, early. You got kids, bro? No, nah, yeah. I don't. I don't. They became adults early. Like I ain't saying that they just get finessed in life, but it's like that those those people grow up, they won't get finessed. Well, look, finessed, I right? got a kid, and mm-hmm. you don't got to grow up that fucking oh, fast. Oh, most definitely. Most you know definitely. What it's most what you, be a child alone. Bro, you what can. you see is how you going to come up, bro. Most, you know what I'm saying? How your family raises, most what definitely. you going to know. Facts. Everything starts at home, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, okay, so how y'all feel about basically, like, okay, so in the scenario I'm saying this, right? So I feel like a lot of times... You have a son. I feel like fathers pick and choose how they raise their children based on gender, right? And I feel That's like, true. basically, I feel like right now, right, say your son was like 14, 16, and he'd say, oh, daddy, I just fucked a bitch. But if your daughter comes tell you she's 16, oh, daddy, I just got fucked. You just hurt. You're going to be hurt by your daughter. So I feel like right in there's like, you kind of like invalidate your point because it's kind of like niggas choose to treat their sons different based on like sexual activities right now i feel like right now i'm really what i'm trying to say is i feel like niggas every damn nigga damn near when y'all say that type of shit y'all damn near sexualize y'all sons low-key y'all treat y'all sons like sex symbols i just 
And y'all automatically come out swinging like daughters of sluts. I don't have a daughter. I don't have a daughter yet, but I got nieces and shit. And it's like Mm -hmm. a lot of people do like be like mind blown when women move like us. You know what I'm saying? But they just like us. They women. They came from men. So if your bitch, you find out your bitch fucked the nigga, you don't want to believe it? Believe it. Just like you fucked the bitch on her. Believe it. You know what I'm saying? I already know if I have a daughter, she's going to grow up and do what the fuck she want to do. But I'm going to try to give her like a good ass example of a good man. I'm going to try and love her. You know what I'm saying? And my son, like, nigga so innocent, bro. Like, I don't want that nigga to know about that type of shit. You know what I'm saying? To, to forever, bro. And when he finally do, do what he do. That's a man thing. Like, I, good job, but I wasn't fucking around that young, bro. I'd rather him wait till he little older and shit. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so what age y'all lost your virginity? 15. 10? 15. Oh. All around the same age, too. Like, I, I was raised, like, closed in with my family like my people ain't play that shit so we you know so i was focused on like kids shit like sports i knew about it but i didn't want really you know care about it yeah. not care about it nigga just ain't shit really ain't know how to do it yeah nigga, no like, bullshit like but i think for, for me it's more so i ain't gonna start like peer pressure on some shit but it's it like is peer pressure. at that age like <laughs> everybody fucking girls it. just throwing this stuff like no bro it's girls like it's, 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 take virginity, bro, bro. it's, it's different young like, young like even older women like like it at that age, I ain't gonna say it's like on no prime, but it's like when you really becoming a man type shit. Like they wanna women fuck see you, you differently. Yes, they want to fuck. They have that urge. They want to fuck you. Like they want to fuck. Just, just bottom like line, this, bro. Okay, so do y'all feel like sometimes this is how I feel, right? I feel like sometimes we look at like society norms and things like that with men, right? And I feel like everything that women do gets sexualized, right? But I feel like none of us look at men and things think that the things they do is sexualized, right? And I feel like this really and truly when you look at shit. We all know, like, when niggas, you know, bitches be like, oh, niggas ain't shit because they just want to fuck this, fuck that, fuck that, right? They you too. Fuck they, too. What? Say her too. You too. I'm yeah, them too for sure. But I also feel like at the same time, like, I feel like it's 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 because y'all niggas are more verbal with it. Like, niggas are more like, yeah, that's the truth, right? But I feel like because y'all shun, like, if a bitch right now coming in, say we had a bitch in this panel with us right now, and she was like, oh, yeah, I done fucked by four niggas this week. Y'all can look at her like, God damn, you a slut. Yeah, but yeah. then you say, Oh, I fuck four bitches. Look at me and say, she gonna say the same thing. And beach. you wanna know what's crazy? She Wait. gonna say the same thing about us. And if we wanted to fuck with each other, we would probably fuck. But y'all, okay, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying you gonna look at her like, Damn, you dirty bitch. Fucking right. You know I, you would. I'd be like, Damn, for real? <laughs> Hey, you live. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. I swear to God. But you'll be wow. trolling her if you say she live. You know, then when nah, your head, you like, I'll just, like, just be like, I'll just be like, damn, Four like, niggas. I didn't hurt it all. Seen it all. Today, Wednesday. I yeah. can't, I can't, I can't like hate Four you niggas and it's for living like that, but like, I would just try to figure out why you fucking that many niggas in one week. You know what I'm saying? So how many people have y'all fucked in one week? <laughs> Back in my day, <laughs> back, back in my, in my day, day. <laughs> <laughs> probably about the same. Five? I I say yeah. I'm, That's a long number. I thought you're not gonna be higher than that. Not nah, in one day. I'm talking about in one day. I say one week. Oh, one week. I don't know. I never really tried to count like that. Okay, let's do one day. A few. I've had I've one had day. I've had multiple pull up in one day, <laughs> like like four. <laughs> no cap. Young though. Not old. Young. I just say I was, I young. was young. I ain't gonna say no number. But I you was have a walk for some pussy? Or ride a bike for some pussy? What? Oh my goodness. I drove Boy, hours. nigga done went on some hikes. What's the fight that y'all didn't drive for some pussy? Drove? I ain't, gonna say, I ain't just drive for the pussy, but shit, it was a part of it, but. Nigga. I didn't drove. I drove to Humble from Mo City. That's not far. Oh, no, far. What? As a I'm young nigga? State to state, boy. Oh, it's the people that, young people that drove to like, fucking Chicago. Nigga at 17. And you never been to the north oh, side? Oh, I ain't gonna lie. That's, 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 a, that's a mall. That's, that's a mall. A you don't know what that's a height. And then yeah. Umbo's all the way. Yeah. Nigga damn near lied to the people where he that's at, too, fool. Northeast, nigga. That's yeah, far. That's, that's far, far nigga. Bitch. Fuck that. Let's take a shot. I, I just bet. took one without y'all, nigga, but it's cool. But you said, wait, what was the question? I asked my question. What's the most we even popped in a day? You already answered. You said it was the furthest we drove. Oh, yeah. I didn't flew. You said, for some pussy? Never flew for that pussy. Not like fly I'm flying pussy. over here for the pussy, but like when I got there, I got some ass. You did me. Oh, All yeah. right, so speaking of ass, <laughs> do y'all fuck y'all hoes in the ass? No. Y'all fuck them hoes in every hole on their body. Ear? This nigga they different. ear, they nose, they mouth, they ass. That's not even they, possible. They bitch. pussy. What? I'm gonna take a shot. I'm gonna try. Take a shot. <laughs> Take a shot. <laughs> I'm going to try. Put that on there. It's the effort, goddamn the effort that count. Put that on there. Bitch, I'm going to fuck you in every, every hole. Okay, so I feel like this with sex, right? 
I feel like a lot of times niggas like, okay, so not JB. I feel like a lot of times niggas are very like, I feel like a lot of times niggas can't keep their bitch because they don't want to explore their bitch. Oh, no. Nah. Yes. Niggas, not this nigga. But continue. It be niggas some nasty like you, bitches nigga. out here, boy. Extremely. Yeah, some filthy bitches. Ooh. And I feel like you done be the bitch that bitch, that'll be the bitch that leave your ass. You gotta explore your bitch. You gotta really yeah. wild your bitch out. You can't be giving the bitch the same I mean, fucking. That's why I turn if you mine don't talk out. To your bitch, you'll never know. I turn mine out. You can't give that bitch the same fucking sample platter that you get for. But you every know what? Day. When you do that to somebody, you what? getting them ready for somebody else. Damn near, bro. What you mean? So what, bro? If I didn't flip this girl whole life upside down and we don't work out, she finna go she change this too. nigga life. Yeah, she finna get curious and see what else out there. So I mean, it's a it's a never ending cycle with everything, bro. I've had some women tell me some crazy shit. They husbands like want them to do to them, like, and they want to do it to me. And I'm like, hell no. Like I can only imagine they husbands, bro. I'm like, damn. It's a wild world. Y'all get down like that? So they be fucking married people. Nah, bro. I'm. They was married before, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, they just brought that shit outside of yeah, their like, I'm like, like, shit, my nigga used to do this shit, you with Yeah, this I'm shit. like, whoa. <laughs> you on a whole different level. So what's the oldest y'all fuck? Because you talking about marriage and shit. <sighs> Every time you ask a hard question, I go, <sighs> the <laughs> oldest. Throw these numbers. No, no, no. Ask this one. How old would we? Like, what would we stop at? Oh, no. That, man, That's even better. There. Would you fuck Oprah? Fuck yeah. Ew. For that bag. What? No bag. Oprah getting straight flipped. pussy. I ain't gonna lie. Nah. <laughs> Oprah. I'd have been to your game. All right, so what's the oldest that you wouldn't fuck? Wouldn't? 65 and up. 65 and up? That's so security. The 60s nowadays be looking like I ain't gonna 40. lie. She gonna get a real good time. She gonna get courted a lot. Real oh, another tough. statement that I want to I'm stop. Break it on. Yes, I really want. You give it to me. I really want y'all to stop saying black don't crack. Black for sure fucking crack. I ain't gonna lie but, to you. When you compare it to whatever it is, no, it don't. Facts. Facts. No, it don't. Because bitches be fucking 30 years old looking 45 and they white. And bitches be fucking 33 looking 25. That's black. Younger. They're younger. They look like they daughters. Yeah. Black fucking cracks. Yeah. One prime Eventually. example. <laughs> what? Eventually. What? Eventually, yes, but okay, the prime example, right? When we fucking say black don't crack, we be judging people that's in the fucking limelight, like celebrities and shit like that. Man, all them oh, black shit. people that getting no, fucking. No, it be like my nah, nigga, she look at 65. This nigga look young as fuck, bro. And you gotta think about it too. And like, they the old 65. Our, gen- our generation, like well, our parents' generation, like them, it's alcohol and drugs. So some of them, they, they look like that because of crack. something. Like, look at the ones that are healthy, like take care of themselves. Black don't crack. Or the ones that was right. You know what I'm saying? Like they, crack? No, nothing, fuck nothing, no. Nothing. Y'all try coke? Hell nah, nope. Y'all try shrooms? No. Yeah. Y'all, y'all try y'all try XC? Y'all try Bitch, Zans? have you tried shrooms? Have you tried? I haven't tried like, Zoom, Are you the fucking yet. feds, bitch? Hell. You the feds, bitch. You asking all these questions, bitch. You said ask questions. You ask questions. You can't do drugs without it. Nigga, I tried drugs. Y'all do fucking ecstasy. I ain't trying shit. I ain't trying shrooms. I ain't tried shrooms yet. I smoke herb. I drank, drank. I might take some shots. I am all hella weed. Take a shot. Let's take a shot. Oh my god! I just took one of them. Bro, I'm telling you. Bro, y'all gonna be the first nigga podcast I had in a minute. So I was like, you know, I got the guys in here. Let's get drunk. I, don't, I ain't gonna lie. When the ladies come, I don't make y'all do all that. But when niggas come, bitch, you get drunk because y'all ain't a hoe. And if you don't get drunk with me around this episode, you must be a hoe. I ain't never been a hoe. I'm right, gone. I'm no, no. so. I'm already drunk. I've actually never seen you drunk. For me? No, I seen you drunk. I just <laughs> hold, I just hold it together, kind of good. But I, I be fucked up. Yeah, for me. Mm-hmm. Fuck yeah. I haven't. That done. Hootie, y'all, y'all boys gonna be fucked off. I already want the other shit. shit yeah. Next shot. For sure, for sure. I I'm not feeling that hoe yet. So. But this, all oh, your drinks? Oh, it's all right. I, I already huh? know. Hell no, nah, I ain't drunk in like two, three months. Yeah, I've been chilling yeah, on the drinks. Yeah, for sure. Niggas talking about they went on a detox before they got here. Shit. Hey. All right, so this how I feel. When it comes to relationships and morals, right? And let's talk, let's. Stop talking about ourselves for a second. Let's talk about in general the generation that we in. I feel like bitches expect too much out of niggas nowadays, Ooh. right? Ooh, damn. That's you felt that? <laughs> damn. Hard. All right, but I do feel like niggas, bitches expect too much out of niggas, right? Now I'm trying to say this to some females. Every time I say this to some females, they get all defensive, right? So I'm here talking to some guys and don't have me looking stupid. Can I try to take up for y'all? <laughs> bitches expect y'all hoes to have a big ass, fat ass house, a new motherfucking and car, do, and do. all this shit, all this shit, all this shit. And, and bitches only got a motherfucking McDonald's gift card thing now. Hey, how y'all feel? Man, answer, bro, and then I'm gonna go in. Nah, you go ahead. Nah, I, I feel your energy you already. Hey, so it's, you it's you, bro. Go shine. Ahead. Hey, look. Rock out. Look in the camera. <laughs> look, Eye contact. Give some go. of hey. y'all bitches be having y'all own bread, and, and y'all still want a nigga to spend all his bread. Second of all, I know a lot of bitches 
that made a life and a living off of another nigga who had bands. I know a lot of bitches who fuck niggas that look like a big toe just because he buy them shit and do shit for them. And I know a lot of bitches. I'm going to mute this, but I'm going to say it. QC. Huh? I'm going to mute this, but I'm going to say, say it. Uh, I'm say it. QC. Oh, my bad. And I know a lot of women, beautiful women, who do what they do and expect <laughs> you can a say lot bitches. of bitches. I was letting you know who the fuck the big toe is. The nigga that on QC. Oh, it, uh, it, prime example, but the nigga got stupid rags. Mm -hmm. And it's like women, they stand, I don't know, like they, they don't got no morals and shit, but it's like shit, it go both ways. But I know some real stand up women who don't go for that shit. You know what I'm saying? They got their own, they'll do. I'm going to spoil my bitch for sure. You can spoil me so a little bit. So you trick. Too. That's no. I See, said my bitch. Thank you. That's I said not my trick. bitch. That's about the difference. Like, if you don't expect the shit, you got to like, trick. You got to spoil a bitch before she be your bitch. You know you do. You can't just be like, oh, oh I'm going to finally no, date you, you down and spoil you. Fuck a bitch no. not finna go for you until oh, you spoil her. You can get a taste of the good life, but don't don't sit here like this the whole fucking time. Bro, like, when you was that's going to make a nigga put his hand in his pocket and hold this shit. Like, <laughs> relax. When you was asking that question, bitches know what niggas to do that too. Thank you. They know. Nigga, they can be like, this nigga ain't got it like that, but he a real nigga, and he ain't going for that, and I won't fuck with him. But I know this lame-ass nigga right here, lame you know, as fuck. Shit. I feel like that's all flexing. A nigga that buy a bitch up thinks she want flexing. You could do that. I ain't going to blame cool the women. Too. I can't blame the women because a, cool a, a, hey, a, a lot of dudes, a lot of dudes. I'm touching the mic. Hey, a lot of dudes, y'all leave, bro, and y'all fuck the game up. Like, hey, Y'all the ones come throwing the bread at the bitch like... And she expecting it from and every nigga. from every nigga. Or like, that ain't the reality. I don't, reality like, ask, I don't like nobody asking. Don't even ask me for a pack of cards. Hey, thank my, my you. Bitch, like, though, I get mad. I'm going to do it. Diamonds, bills, out to eat, vacation, all that shit. For shit show. My so bitch. So do you feel like, so do, do, your, do your girl, I don't like, that's not my bitch. So do your girl spoil you back? Hey, yes. yo. Hey, niggas fuck? ain't no suckers out here. It's, it's a lot of sucker ass niggas out here. Simp, but niggas soup. ain't no suckers we out here. We play Bro, it, I witnessed bitches breaking man, niggas, bro. Breaking, like I'm talking, like and cut them off as soon as he can't uh, yes. give them something. So do you feel like those bitches are basically? Or like, let you get jammed up. So do you feel like? Let's say this. Let's say this. Let me let me ask y'all a real nigga question. <laughs> I feel like we need to change the definition on a new age with a motherfucking. Um, maybe let's redefine the definition of a prostitute. Yup. Hey. I ain't gonna lie. He said it. Bitches will fuck a big toe because they won't. <laughs> Hey, a man. new car or bitches, bitch, fuck a new car. Bitches hey, want to go eat some steak. No cap. I'm fuck a nigga for a steak. I was at a strip club in the H and I overheard a girl telling an officer about a fat nigga that got a wife who loaded, who who she be fucking, and this nigga pays all her bills, oh, all of them, mm -hmm. bought her car. They go on trips. It's me. And she told me, <laughs> bro, small as fuck. Mm -hmm. She don't feel nothing when they fuck. Mm -hmm. But all he do is just spend his money on her, bro. That's really how it be. And I almost threw up in my it be mouth. Maybe the niggas that built like this. But bro, but like, but where are your morals and standards that's for you to lay be. down and let somebody do that do for that just to you. get that what mean that say about you selling you? your soul, bro? Like yeah. You getting a soul tie with somebody? Is she selling her soul? She been an entrepreneur. She making bro, a soul no, tie. No, you no, might you that, might make you might make some out of that. But you have a soul tie. If, if you if you doing Thank something you. that you're totally against to get something or gain something, you're selling yourself short, bro. You are selling yourself, your soul, bro. But who says she against it? She's just saying damn. You ain't got to be against it. I'm and, real. And deep inside, she you she don't want this nigga fucking her, bro. She would rather have a nice looking man fucking her, bro, or a nigga, a rap nigga. You know what I'm saying? And think about that, like their lifestyle is temporary. Once you really bro. hit real life and you realize niggas gonna push you to the side when you really not that you not that eye candy no more. When he really wanna be his wife. You really gonna be fucked hey, up, bro. Cause you don't know nothing she say, like bro, you ain't pick up shit. his stomach to stick it in. Come on now. And dead. then let it back hey. down. He that big. Bro, we I'm fit, a big bro. boy. I ain't gotta do that. No, man, that's nasty, bro. I'm not I'm not <laughs> I said that's nasty, bro. I'm not bro. fucking a big ass bitch that big, bro, just to get some bread. I'm gonna go fucking put in some work. The thing is getting love, but I love big women too. But I'm just but saying, that. Okay, so I feel like this. In 2022, I feel like a lot of times, right, y'all mistake thick for BBLs. Like, y'all think thick. Like, I, okay, let me say this. I feel like Started bitches think they're thick. I don't know how to process nowhere. Okay? Everybody TS got one. That's down there. Why? Everybody do got one. Like, my mom got my bitch got a I'm going to be the first to say I'm going to let y'all know. I don't care. You niggas some athletic ass niggas. I see both of y'all be working a lot of time. It's a struggle for me, okay? I'm trying to jump in, jump out, jump in, jump out. I'm not going to lie to you. First shit I get, I'm getting it done. Not the BBL, but I'm gonna like all done, okay? <laughs> I don't care. I'm gonna still come around y'all bitches and I'm gonna flex my shit just like y'all. And I ain't gonna lie. To you I don't give a fuck. I'm getting the fake muscles. My partner, he got the fake muscles. He the nigga that went on Shade Room, all that shit with the fake abs. It was him. He been on the show. Y'all know what I'm talking about. He, the, he got the whole little six pack. He already gave me his doctor name and everything. That's in Miami. Like, Trust and believe. I'm getting a life all done. I'm taking my ass get them fucking six packs. And guess what I'm gonna be? I'm gonna still be out here. I'm gonna be shirt off in the club. I don't give a fuck. 
I ain't even gonna be hey, drunk. I'm gonna act like I'm drunk. So I take my shirt off. When you look good and hey. you feel like you look good, you mm-hmm. be different, bro. Hey. Yeah, and I ain't gonna care. Surgery scars and all, I'm gonna show them. It is what it is. Cause bitch, guess what tattoos. I did? Bought it. Cause bitches wear their weeds out. They don't give a fuck. Lace be showing yeah. everything. Bitches be proud of their little hey. lace. She got a BB. Y'all yeah. be checking bitches lace. What? That's the, I, I ain't check gonna lie. The first thing I'm we tired. talk too. So you know what I'm saying? That's the, I check what? They lace. lace. I can't help but see it. So it's like, you know if your lace ain't right and you really trying to approach me, or if I'm fucking with you, like, bro, I'd rather tall. you tell me. I'd rather hey, you tell hey, me, hey, like, bitch, man, I'm you good because you don't your have to fuck up. Because I'm going to see your, your screen, though. Bro, you heard him? He's like, what? What? You trashy. I ain't even say nothing. He said, if you bro. find your lace, to fuck, that's morals. Hey. You don't. selling your soul. Bitch, I'm Because you really want to fuck a bitch that got a good lace. Hey, good lace, bad lace. If you bad, you take that bitch off. I ain't gonna you lie. That's like a fuck nah. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Nah. Fuck no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. Fuck. Nah. I seen some fucked up lace. You wanna fuck a bald headed hoe? A bald head, hell yeah. Bald headed hoe. Sure. But if you with the lace though, that's you trying to portray something. I like that. That's like you wearing question. some fake design. I got a really question I always want to know. Is it true that fat bitches got better pussy than skinny bitches? I heard. I feel like because it's a lot of shit going on. Man, I don't Cushion. know. You I just, think it's more <laughs> like a waterbed. Hey, yeah, yeah. They like, shit, just because they fat, nigga, they still tight. Probably. I ain't gonna lie. I feel That's like it's. Yeah. I don't know. It's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for real. I'm I ain't like most big girls that I look at like that. Like they take care of themselves. So you, you fuck the fat hoe, bro. Yeah, for yeah. sure. How fat? You trying to throw a weight on it or like shape? Shape. Just show me like. That's different. Like, if I you like show somebody like, 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 arms, but I'm saying like, who's somebody like? <laughs> he that gotta go this that's way. Hard, that's hard. To, that's hard to say. I don't know, bro. Right. Like, I'm gonna have to go wait. She not more than two fifty. So she was two forty nine. Nah, she might have been two fifty, but she ain't look it. <laughs> I feel like if you big and you still pretty in the that's face, that's what I'm saying. You that's getting, cool. getting flipped. <laughs> <laughs> you getting flipped? Like keeping it thigh, real like, nigga. You getting flipped on the clock? You getting flipped, real, real shit. Like, okay, so not no take a second shot on that shit. He trying to take a shot. Take a shot, bitch. Come on, pull it up. I want throw the bottle. Pull your shot first, bro. Yeah, you tried it. He for sure tried that one. No, you not. Nigga, knee hurt. <laughs> what hurt on y'all today? Y'all back? This nigga lean to the side and his knee hurt. Nah, my knee really get my shit swollen right now. I'm not getting older. I feel alive. This is the most alive I ever felt in my life. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to y'all to come for me. I am really approving of y'all fits. I've been wanting people to come in here with some clothes on. Can y'all, I like, come on. Like, I like y'all fits. Y'all look nice today. Yeah. Enforces? Yeah, you know. I ain't seen you in a minute, brother. You came in here with the clothes. I said, oh, look at him. I ain't stepped out really like two months. On. I was like, ah, oh, damn. Hey, I ain't really sure. met a nigga from the clock in a long ass time. Yeah, man. Shit. We active. Let's talk about something else though, real quick, cause you just brought it to my head. Y'all got ops. Hey yeah. I don't beef with niggas. You friendly? Hey, I ain't yeah. friendly at you all. Everybody friend. Nigga, I'm looking like this, like if you don't like me, That's if you ain't life. saying to me, nigga, I don't know you don't like me. So For I ain't real. got no ops. Like I hate when people beef with one nigga from the hood and think the whole hood hate them. But I ain't gonna lie, it have been like that. But shit, I got love everywhere. So it's like even if my my hood do got a lot of ops, like I'm good everywhere. It ain't like I can't go nowhere and be like, oh, I got to watch my bag. I'm Man, good. Fuck I feel like niggas. nobody really be checking nah, for people, though. Yeah. I feel like, like nobody really be checking for people. I feel yeah, like people do. walk around and be like... Yeah, they do. It's, it, but we... Time going by. You know what I'm saying? Man, we old in the bitch now. We get... We get so maybe that's my mind. So I thought we just too old to still be like... No, but niggas checking still, for people. Bro, what your if, beef if, is, if a like, nigga beat your motherfucking ass in high school or shot your partner... And y'all out. grown I now. If you hold on to nigga gonna come check that shit. I ain't gonna I lie. If you hold on to an ass whooping, you a pig. It's happened to me. I promise you, you, you nigga. To ass no, a nigga has tried to come check Vice that shit because we beat that ass. I beat that ass. Then that's supposed to do. Let that. Sh- that's that's like. And I'm like, that's like a you nigga laugh can't that shit beat off. You, like, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, nigga, I'm damn near finna kill you because you want to fight over some high school shit. If it got to get that, and yeah, but that's you defending yourself, bro. That ain't like you going to look for it. Like I'm still on that high school shit. I'm not saying like I'm saying like I beat your ass in high school. You still mad? That's what I'm saying. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of niggas still mad that I probably popped that bitch or I fuck with somebody that they like the no, lot. But if a nigga beat your motherfucking ass and you. What was the fight about? Like, if it's a reason to beat your ass. What was it about? Look, look, hey, look, if it's look. on some gang shit, that's different. Bro, though. if a nigga put you, you in his sleep pride, fuck. And you see him while y'all old. Bro, dude. take your L. Cause I ain't gonna lie. I didn't put niggas to sleep. A nigga ain't come back and kill me because I ain't gonna lie. Or, or pull a gun because a nigga know what's gonna come behind I'm that. So, all right, so look, so if a nigga really slept you. Slip you and you um, see him in the club. This in high school, he slept. I'm you? like this, so when they ain't gonna sleep me, I'll just say that. Shit, but. same, but I'm saying, like, if it, cause I'm saying, like, that's what I, that's what I did to the nigga, bro. The nigga was sleep. He's a, that's just a, that's they, like, they was that ain't your opto. 
They that's not your out. You know what I'm saying? I don't have no out. That's not your out. That's a nigga that hates you. They from the other side. That's a hater. They from this side, actually. Shush. Everybody not from Houston. What's the op? But he from the club. We from the club. Everybody here right right not from Houston. I ain't gonna lie, a lot of these opponent. The op is an opponent. You bro. know, opposition. Like nigga, you have you got plicks with like somebody. You have you got. It's tension between y'all. Some shit you ain't let go. Like some shit you can't just. I ain't got no ops. I got a lot of haters. There we go. Bad. Haters. And a nigga no would ops. try you because you know not to play with me. I'll but a nigga that. would try you thinking some shit sweet. Y'all think y'all think I got all y'all ops or uh, or whatever the fuck. All y'all ops are niggas or y'all think I got some female ops. Both. I got some female. Yeah, ops. Did you get that? No, I was going to. I took you, mine. Yeah. Oh. Damn. My bad. I saw that. We all saw that actually. <laughs> Play as fuck up. Yeah, it's, it's, man, yeah, that's the hardest culture. I ain't gonna lie. If you still on some shit from high school, like that lame. That shit lame, bro. Like, yeah, I ain't about no napkin, so we got I ain't gonna lie. Like, like if you, <laughs> them niggas was mad though. Oh, yeah, nigga, beat your ass. You gonna be so, mad wait, too? So let's be honey though. Have y'all ever been slipped? Don't lie, don't lie, no. don't, lie, don't, lie, don't lie. I got the videos. Hey, right hand to the guy. Like, if you lie for the y'all know that song, Sauce Walker. Uh, I'm too legit to quit it. I'm too legit. The, the, the nigga on the that second. That have shit to do with me asking you that question. Have you been slipped? Listen, yes no? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to don't tell rap you. No lyrics, nigga. I ain't been, I ain't been slipped. But a nigga, the, the, the nigga on the second verse, he died. Bro stole me. You know what I'm saying? When I wasn't looking, bro, that was the hardest I ever been hit in my life. I ain't, I ain't go to sleep, but bro stole me because I beat a little brother. Up. Yeah, I never got slipped. I for sure got stole off on in high school though. I got stole off on, but I, I didn't slip a lot of niggas. Bro. Shit. I'm keeping thighs. I'm like I've been like this since a little nigga. Okay, so let's be one hundred. I asked some bitches. Don't don't lie. I asked some bitches the other day. Has somebody ever? Don't lie. Come on, y'all. Like it's a transparent podcast. Y'all trying to act stiff? I know this shit. Has somebody get off your fucking public. phone for be fifty dollars to get your shit back? Public. I know. It it's a clock right here. You got thirty minutes left. I couldn't even see. All right. So basically, he got a funny thing. Has somebody ever fucking pulled your whole card? Don't lie. No. I put it on my granddaddy. Ain't nobody ever. Comment below if you pull his whole card. I would say. I would say niggas if have, you have tried. Come with proof. Niggas have tried to pull my whole card. And they saw what that shit was about. For sure. I'm a stump down ass nigga. So is that a yes or no? No. I no. say niggas have tried thinking some shit sweet. Yeah. She so do y'all feel like a lot of niggas look at y'all? So I feel like y'all like look like some different ass niggas, right? I'm just be transparent, right? A nigga look at y'all and y'all don't look like when presenting wise, y'all would like niggas probably look at y'all and be like, oh, them niggas not friendly. hard, right? Yeah, they probably think like y'all some friendly ass niggas, right? Yeah, so y'all feel like niggas try y'all more because of that shit. Yep. Yeah, I feel like even like when y'all I don't know how y'all look when y'all was younger. Well, I know how you look. I don't know how you look. But yeah, yeah. basically I feel like Y'all feel like niggas just fuck with y'all basically they thought they can get away with it. Yep. And when a nigga get on their ass, they be on some shit like, damn, bro, I was just playing. Nigga be scared. Like, nah, we like that. Looks are deceiving. Very deceiving. Nigga got a clean face and I like that. You gonna you gonna look at a nigga and really think a nigga sweet. I'm gonna show you how sweet shit really is. So what y'all think is the hardest thing y'all had to prove? Like, well, y'all have to prove y'all self? Do y'all feel like y'all have to prove y'all to niggas? I feel like I'm me, so no. I feel like the hardest thing I had to prove was just proving shit to myself, bro. Never shit to show. nobody else. Cause you, naturally you gonna doubt yourself. Be like, damn, can I really out. anything? Be like, can I really do that? Like, excuse me. You gonna really, you gonna, it's, that's, that's the first part of getting through something. Like, before you get on the roller coaster, you be like, damn. So, I'm finna do this shit? Yeah. You gonna, so you look, gonna think about it yourself first. I got a partner, right? And I feel like I realized this the other day, and y'all tell me if I'm fucked up, there's some real nigga shit, tell me if I'm wrong. Judge me. I don't care. I really need to hear this. I got a partner who I feel like this may sound fucked up, don't judge me. I'm learning. I feel like he probably just not, he never gonna make it out the hood. And sometimes I feel like, bro? leave me alone, bitch. Let's <laughs> not do bro. that. Let's leave me alone. Hey, he probably don't even know just throwing that shit. Hey, I'm he tell do you. know, but like, oh, let's okay. not I'm do that. I'm gonna tell you like this, bro. It's your mind, bro. Some niggas' mind really just be stuck on that shit. Wait, bro. hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we start, Landra. Because I wanted to hear this. Sorry, I just got off. We ain't never did this before. But I didn't hear to hear this because I'll click. Just listen to what he's talking about. We put two and two together, right? Okay, so I had something that I feel like I got a partner who I feel like never gonna make out the hood. We clicking? We clicking? Yeah. Clicking? Okay, go ahead. Hey, some niggas be so deep in that shit, and that's all they know, that's all they see. They minds don't don't dream big, and if it, and if it do, they don't, they don't want to do that shit because they so stuck on this right here. This is really all they want to do, bro. Facts. So, yeah, <laughs> I feel like, okay, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Just be for both of y'all. I lucky feel like I I lucky put that put people let me say that person put people in the best situation right I try to set all my friends up for success right I feel mm -hmm. like I don't have much but what I do have I make sure like I don't give all bitch but I get probably like fifteen percent of it <laughs> but like I feel like I try to set people up for success right and I feel like if I put set you up for success and you still kind of like 
downplay like the hand that I give you, I feel like I can just kind of like cut my hand off and I can't do this for you no more, right? That's what you gotta but do. is it real? I feel like sometimes like I got like I lucky. I'm being transparent. I lucky have guilt about it. Don't because I feel you. like I'm down. Tell yeah, nah. So it's like <clears throat> everybody not destined for success. That sound fucked up, but shit, statistics are real. Like some people you went to high school with. Some of them are crackheads. Some of them dead or dead. Some of them are in prison. You know what I'm saying? Like statistics are real. Like everybody not destined to be great. You could be rich as fuck. You can give some of your family a million dollars. They might squander that shit off in one week. You know what I'm saying? In a, however fast they might fuck their life off because they got a million dollars. Reason being, they don't know how to manage it. Everybody life ain't meant to be glitz and glamour. Some people shit is literally as far as Instagram go. A motherfucker throw a Facts. filter on at the beach and be happy like. It might live in a country hey. where it never decide to go and jump on the plane and go somewhere. And like, you're not God, you know what I'm bro. Like it, you can't change people. You can't too. make people and see. And that's my problem. I feel like a lot of times I feel like I would get very Because you're like, a Virgo. Uh, what's the word? I uh, know. I'm a Virgo, too. I would get. I would have a lot of expectations for my friends, right? So say my friend. My friend would tell me, like, say, like, my friend be like, oh, I want to be a barber. I'd be like, oh, well, shit. Like, my barber right here, he'll help you cut hair. He'll help you do this. Shit, I got this life for you. Man, I'm that nigga let you shit, practice on my head. You, no, I don't know about that. But I got to be forehead. I can't let you practice on me, baby. But I feel like a lot of times, I feel like a lot of times I get let down because I try to put my friends in best positions, right? And I feel like with this, right, I feel like I tried to, like, okay, so being transparent, right? Like, y'all my friends, of course. But, like, my friend friends, like, daily fucking friends, like, friends who I know, like, can benefit off this shit and, like, it can help them type shit. I feel like I never put them in a position to be on my shit because I feel like, I was scared to do it. Kind of know what they would do because I know you. You know your friends, so you can't bring with you to fucking certain yeah, yeah. meetings and shit like that. Like you can't bring every friend of you to everything, right? And I feel like I took a risk by doing that shit, right? And I feel like I was let down. And I feel like sometimes I feel like we got it. I feel like me. I'm learning to get to the point where kind of I gotta like stop calling selfish or not. I feel like I gotta stop looking out for people. Like I think I gotta Bro, just like. Can I? Can I? Can I please give you some advice? You rock out on me. this one. You a Virgo <laughs> just like me, my nigga. I know. We're givers. Which means we don't care if we receive like that and we give, give, give. You know what I'm saying? And we barely get that shit in return. And it's like, motherfuckers gonna keep taking the more you give. <coughs> bro, I'm in that point in my life too where I gotta be selfish, bro. Cause I was so selfless, you know what I'm saying? Giving to everybody but set myself. And it's like, you put this nigga on, he might fumble it and fuck it up. You uh, look out for this person, nigga, they, they not gonna reciprocate that shit for you. So it's like, nigga, when you feel that urge to do this for somebody, Nigga, put that energy back into yourself. So, and you can't yep. be, and you gonna feel guilty, bro, because you love that person, you fuck with that person, but like, man, let God deal with everybody, bro, and just look out for you, because when you gone, it's just gonna be you. Facts. When you buried, it's gonna be you. You know what I'm saying? When God call you, it's gonna be you. But sometimes I look at this situation, right, and I'm gonna be transparent by situation. I always wonder why I was be like, I'd be like, so I, I'd be trying to. I always feel like a lot of my friends, even like every friend, a lot of the friends, I feel like I know they bad character traits, right? And I feel like I learned the fact that like, I feel like we watch friends do bad shit to other people and be thinking sometimes like, oh, it'll never be me. Shit. Same shit Talk about it. Type shit. Yeah. Talk about it. So I feel like this. I feel like sometimes I feel like it's a hard battle to realize that damn, like, it will be you because the opportunity presents itself. Like right now, if, opportunity presents, if they put a million dollars on the table and they'd be like, kill that nigga right now, they will kill me. Facts. When no fucks gave you wouldn't pull the trigger. Facts. And you wouldn't pull the trigger. Huh? Would you pull the trigger? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute now. I didn't say I was all good too. They're a goner. I ain't gonna nah, lie now. Nah. Hey, hey, look, no cap, bro. <laughs> like I really be feeling for people when they speak on shit that I already been through, bro. Yeah. Like I really okay. be feeling for that I shit. I guess I'm the last one But you can't pull from it, an empty course, cup though, because you going say, man, you put somebody on and they fuck up what you got going on. You can't feel your cup now. You can't pull. So why do we? Why do we? So why do we feel bad about when friends do shit? Because you love them. You love them. You got that care for them. Like you, you know everything they done been through because they tell you. Y'all vent to each other. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all have a connection. Like sometimes you gotta be like, fuck you, nigga. Not even just fuck you, but shit. Just be nonchalant to it. Like I listen to you. I give you my advice, but I can't give you my effort. Hey, and no cap. My effort can't keep you bored. If you if you don't, if you keep doing what you doing, you are gonna keep finding yourself in the same position, feeling the same ways, bro. Until you get enough, bro. That's the definition of insanity. If you didn't know, you yeah, doing the same yeah, thing yeah. over and over, expecting a different result. Nah, so basically, I had like a partner, right? I feel like I had another partner, right? I feel like I was like always with him, twenty four seven, and I feel like I had basically fell out with him. Not fell out with him, but we had like a little fork in the road type shit. And I feel like I chose myself in this situation because sometimes I'm the type of I am the type of person, right? I feel like although we get back cool, I can never forget what the fuck shit you did to me, right? Thanks. And I feel like I had ended up choosing. Like, I realized a long time ago, I used to be like, oh, we back cool, we cool. And I look past friends of that shit. And I feel like with this one friend, I was like, look, hang out. And I be like, fuck, no, that nigga drank me once. He'll do it again. You always had a chip on your shoulder. 
So I feel like a lot of times, right, I'm going to be transparent. Is that me? It is what it is. I hug grudges. See, I do. You have to protect yourself. And I feel like people are like, you shouldn't hug grudges. I do. Because you fucked me over. Yep. So why would I be a dumb door ass bitch advice, to fuck bro. me over and again? When it come to shit like that, nigga, forgive to grow. But never forget yeah, how that facts. shit made you feel, bro. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't want to feel that shit bro. again. And forgiving don't mean go back. Yeah, but forgive to grow. Yeah. If you hold on to it, you're not growing. You know For what I'm sure. saying? And then just don't forget how that shit made you feel what that motherfucker did. Okay, so when you say forgive to grow, what do you mean by that? Because I feel like, do you mean like go back to the no, situation? No, I mean like, for, oh my God, you crossed me, nigga. You crossed me, nigga. But you know what? God... How can I want God to forgive me for what the fuck I did yep. if I can't forgive this motherfucker yep. for crossing me? You know what I'm saying? Boy, I'm going to forgive you, but I'm not going to fuck with you the same, yep. and I'm not going to forgive what you did and how it made me feel. That's what I mean. I'm the type of shit. I ain't going to lose no love for you. I still love you, but I'm going to love you from this side of the street. What? Like, <laughs> so this is another right. concern I have, but I'm going to say this this next topic, let's take a shot to it, because it's a real nigga topic, and I feel like it's got to be a thought <laughs> in everybody's head. <laughs> Cause I got a thought in my head, y'all. And I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna be transparent why I haven't turned up on my podcast shit fully. I'm gonna tell y'all what my turn this whole world I'm gonna tell y'all. What's up, sorry? Can I say something before that though? You don't have to ask. You have a mic. Hey, shout out to my motherfucking bro, dog. Big facts. Cause you know what I'm saying. This shit to when we first met, you would have never imagined. You know what I'm saying? Good shit, shit, bro. Appreciate you. Good shit. Yeah, been on him since uh, we was kiddos. Nigga, know. eight, seventeen. Appreciate nigga, it. I couldn't even buy a bottle. We wasn't even drinking. We was smoking bongs, nigga, at fucking no, no, in no, fucking. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we hey, no, I told we you, bitch. To, I'm done working. Hey, I, 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 I told you, bro. That shit like that is a part of my upbringing, bro. I know, like, I get it. Though. I don't forget that. It shit. It is what it is. I was a kid, bitch. Hey, and bro put me in my first photo shoots and shit, like... Yeah, I had a no clothes on, y'all. They was wearing shit fake clothes for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. Mm -hmm. I, do I have any... Do I have any... Stop wearing any you face. gotta keep... No, I'm too... I think I gave it away to people, bro. You know, it's fake. Don't worry no more. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was fake. It was the vision. Was like, it was the vision that I was fucking with, vendor. Bro. It was the vision. I feel like I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna pop my shit. I feel like I was the first wholesale last Nobody was doing shit like that. I was the first wholesale last week. Why you stop, but? I think it'd be a million in college. Right oh, well, that, that that's where it would have been it. That what? shit was hard. Boy, hey. I was spelling classes. That's when niggas would have been shit. buying that shit. Can Hell, we, can can we grasp the concept with the show we pulled down? Yeah, we ready, though. He, y'all, y'all, y'all be, he, he fast. Hey, I'm he with it. Shit. Right. He ain't even taking it. Hey, we toasting up to that whole thing, bro. Hey, toast up. No, let's toast up to all of us being fucking peaceful-ass people, successful-ass people, not seeing all y'all growth. I'm toasting up to the afters already. We toast up to all of us. And looking good as fuck, goddamn. All right, we all toasting three different things, but all in one shot. Mm. Sheesh. My grandpa felt that hope. Rest in peace. Big Woo! I you know, know I never understood y'all. People pouring out shots for their dead homies. Come on. Why you wasting that liquor up? That niggas got a drink too. Uh, put some water. Hey. <laughs> Nervous the grass. Anyway, so I feel like this. Really good copy. There's water in it. My fear is I'm scared. I feel like I might always try to do fucking like maintenance with how I cut off people. Because my fear is I know when people, when you cut off people a certain type of way, they get vindictive, they get jealous, they get evil, and I feel like niggas set you up. I'm going to say this. They know why you cut them off. They don't need no explanation. No, what I'm saying is, what I'm trying to say is, niggas will cut, you will cut a nigga off, mm -hmm. they get jealous, and I get trying to get you robbed. You got to watch your shot. back. Keep I that bleak. Say that. That's, I ain't going to say I'm going through game, that bro. now, but shit, it's a part of what I'm going through now, shit. You come with that shit. Just keep doing you. Go, I got you. Because I mean, you start fucking somebody, they hate you. Oh, Fact. you a bitch. You ain't a bitch shit Bushy for them. said that shit. That shit is true as fuck. Once you stop hanging around somebody, they start talking about you. That shit is Terribly. true. That shit is true, bro. So I feel that like how y'all move with like, basically like, oh, I feel like all of us have lost friends. Not lost, like death and shit like that. But like, have like left friends, grown for friends. It hasn't been like, and I feel like, let me say this, in, in this year, I don't even fall out with people no more. I simply just separate myself in silence. But I feel like I can tell, right, they feel that presence is gone. Yeah. Cause I have a great fucking presence, bitch. I'm a funny fucking nigga. So you know you ain't laughing like that. Ain't nobody make you laugh like me, bitch. A nigga ain't give you the advice that you need. Or, That's what I'm saying. Like I really be telling my friends. So I feel like a lot of times I feel like like is that not a fear in your head? Like damn, a nigga may be really trying to like set me up now. I ain't scared, shit. but oh, I you, when you know in your mind that that could happen, you move different, and you you gotta always be ready for the unexpected, bro. If you've been that close to me, then you already know like shit. You can't play with me in that manner anyway. So, but a nigga still a try to bro. A nigga who don't know you like that or not that close. That's what I'm saying. You, you wouldn't. They'll still try you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Maybe so. 
For sure, you can type shit. That bro, the only people who has ever tried to try me was people who didn't know me like that. Everybody close to me. Never. Well, you teach talking about people that somebody you just cut off type shit. Like, are you cut them out three months people later? Next thing you know, oh, yeah, like, bitch, you how you know doing? you can't play with me like that. Like, you yeah. know, I mean, let's talk about it. Let's, go, let's exactly. go deep into like, the shit. Half the time anyway. when we hear about stories and niggas and got shot, it be their partners. Yeah. It don't ever be a fucking stranger on the fucking street. Oh, I saw having got to a nigga with the fucking at club Yakums. Next thing you know, I'm mm. fucking. Yep. It's, that nigga ain't shot you. It's your fucking partner that you yep. that knew your mama. I heard another day this girl told me that her fucking it was a somebody shot yeah, somebody she knew came to the funeral. He was at the funeral and everything. Yep. Niggas got to your funeral hey, and they killed you. No bro. cap. Nigga, nigga murdered my brother, Lil Harry, RP, my little bro. Them niggas was at his funeral, bro. Like, That's grimy, bro. And I'm at the I'm at the funeral strapped up because I already know what it is. But these niggas at my nigga funeral, bro. And they, they, they shot up a house, but he happened to get killed type shit. So they didn't try to kill him, but. You still killed him. You yeah. got to speak on that then. Huh? If you in the streets, you got to speak on that. You fucked up, you fucked up. Man. Take your lick, bro. Shit crazy Shit like that It's a piece of oh, Bitch don't show up to the funeral You better go to the grave site by yourself At another time And that's yeah, why I told you, you bro You know like, what I'm saying Like this Around the time that shit happened when, You know what I'm saying Like mm-hmm. nigga mine was just Fucked shit up dirty. bro Like I was I was just feeling so much pain Between the ages Like A teenager to like 21 It's like just crazy shit bro Yeah I don't want the hook of that shit I'm get just sitting there Hold on my god Okay Alright so I feel like this I feel like a lot of times we feel, I feel like a lot of times A lot of times right I feel like lately in society, right, we have forgot that there are still people going through real life, like, street shit. Hey, yo. And I feel like a lot of times we look over people, like, people look over y'all because y'all some pretty ass niggas or whatever the fuck. And I feel like niggas not realizing that, like, bitches really not realizing, like, they expect everything to be fucking Instagram shit. In real life, I feel like niggas still trying to battle their demons that are in their local ass city. A lot of times I feel like some niggas can't even think past, like, Going out that neighborhood out shit, of shit, you can't. What may you happen. really, you really worried about your life, like but you got to. Like, it's not really a video do game. It. Like you ain't gonna respond. Like you know what I'm saying. Like that's your life. Like once, once something happened, like that's your demise, bro. Like you won't ever, yo, you won't be here no more. It is. That's really your reality. If like, you really want to make it. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. Rest in peace to people in Houston. Everybody, everywhere that yeah. you know that happened to them. But at the same time, it's like shit. That's a part of the street life. They say you either gonna be dead or in jail. Bro, but if you Those wanna if you wanna options, make it, bro, like, you gotta you really it. change how you thinking and moving. Yeah. Even if you still living in your city, you know what I'm saying? Like me, you know what I'm saying? You gotta just separate yourself and, and be out the way. You can't go to where everybody be at, something gonna happen. You can't be accessible, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like you gotta damn near get out the fucking city and state. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And to expand and shit. So, so you gotta watch yourself like when you go outside your city and state too. Facts. I like the new like nigga this, always right? get hated on. Mm-hmm. Nah, so that's what I'm hey, to say. not to cut, but to be honest, bro, in different places, like nigga, I feel safe, bro. Yeah, in my nobody city know you, but you that I grew up it. in and shit, like nigga, but I don't see somebody you. Somebody always like watching jealous. you, no matter what. Like somebody, I don't always, feel safe. You bro. never know. Somebody always watching you. It could be a female or something. Like she might be like, oh, I used to see you all the time here. This and then the third. Like you thinking yourself, like damn, I ain't never seen this bitch ever in my life. But she just seen me somewhat every time I done went there. Somebody always watching you, so you never know. True. Facts. I was gonna say take a shot. Hell, he took nah. a shot. Then he went for the same. He even forgot, so he threw that shot out there. All right, I got a question. Nah, I, I got a question. I got a question. I'm trying to ask a question. I take a shot. He's nope, no, no, no. I got a question. Teacher, teacher. Teach what's y'all motherfucking favorite designer brand? Ooh. I don't wear designer. Oh, what's your favorite brand then? What, what do you find yourself always putting on or wanting? Crocs. Okay, well, Crocs. That's your. That's your I don't shit. care. The most comfortable. I don't know what kind of design I get pieces. I don't just. Throw a whole fit on it. Designer, What's your favorite like? designer brand? Shit. You give me Louis V. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I really like Bape, though. It's Supreme. No, good. I like the street oh, design. Street, yeah. Street, yeah. Yeah. street fashion. Yeah. But I do like the other shit, though. What are y'all fucking goals and shit like that, right? I feel like, you know, I started all the street shit. Like, what are y'all trying to live up to, right? I feel like both of y'all stories do start from, like, hood shit, right? But, like, I don't feel like y'all not trying to live a hood life. I ain't gonna lie. Make sure I'm good. Make sure whenever I have children, like they're good. Like okay, now fuck that little bullshit ass Vegas shit. Like what is no, your? No, it ain't Vegas. Like for real. Like to be comfortable in life. Like how? Doing what? Shit, I ain't got a lot for the stock market now, and that shit's blessing the nigga. Like yeah, I see you, every morning, bitch. Please help me. Hey, I be tr- I've been trying to tell him to tap in for the longest. We gotta man. fuck around in one k a day. We go, you get active. Yeah, help me. Hey, but just <laughs> even still, like what was the question? Passive What's income. Yeah. Goal. Mm-hmm. Man, my ultimate goal every day. Always is money to make money, bro, in some sort of way. You that know what I'm saying? It does make the world go around. You can't do nothing without no money. Money yeah. by happiness. 
I agree with that shit. Like, if a nigga broke I don't agree you, with that shit. Man, bullshit, oh, bro. Fuck no. Look, look, nigga look, broke, look, you can't even look, pop nothing, look, bro. Like, look, but a lot of the happiest people be broke. Look, I'm gonna tell you. Stupid shit. I, 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 they I, they I, stay I, comfortable I could, in their situation. I could tell they bullshit. you to touch some money in your life. You know what I'm saying? We didn't take that shot, did we? Hell nah. Right, nigga, you, you didn't touch some bread in your life. I didn't yeah. touch some band, big bands in my life for sure. And I will be emotionally spending to make me feel better. And I never felt better, bro. And I ran through a lot of bands, bro. And I'm happier. You was putting towards the wrong thing. Nah, I was I investing into myself. You, bro. I, hey, the, you. The, the best thing you can spend your money on is yourself. That's not F- true, though. Stocks. But if you fucking, say, Vince, you go, say, Vince, you, you hit for 20, right? And you go spend 10, 15 at the mile. But that's a dumb investment. I'm exactly. saying, that's my but, point. But, but the, a lot of people the, do that but shit, But at the though, same like, time, you can look back and be like, well, damn, I spent 15 bands on myself. I didn't give 15 bands to still, a stock market okay, and I made this. zero. You know what I'm but saying? But shit, you can get 15 bands to the stock market and fuck around and pull out 15. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm, just saying, saying, like, I'm just saying. If it's something that's going to give you back something, that's cool. That's a good investment. Like, say, man, you, you get some bread, you give it to your girl. You might give her five. Bro, she give you back say. 20. Money, like, money, money makes financial. It makes like easier. No, you just don't yeah. have the problem of financial. You know what I'm saying? You don't have a financial problem while having money. But more money brings more things and more problems, bro. Yeah, you, you don't make more money to You manage. don't ultimately just be happy. You just don't have that. You have that security if you have money. That's you don't just, have to struggle. You know what I'm saying? But it doesn't bring really happiness. You bro. mean true happiness? But I'm saying like, true happiness. would you rather be? You're right. You're right. No, no, no. Yes. Would you rather, rather be sad and bro, broke or no. sad with some bread? That you fucking know what I'm bag, like, nigga. Yeah, yeah. That bag, but it, it Cause came majority with a lot. of your issues, like even when you broke, majority of your issues when you're sad. It's because money. you broke, you know money. what I'm saying? Money. So if you don't know how to manage that shit That's when you I get it, then you go forever be fucked. Exactly. Having money is like that relief, like, oh, I ain't got to worry about my car, no, or my rent. It's, it's paid for regardless. But my nigga, like, you still missing, like, your true purpose, like, what you really happy then for. Then that's just like, on you and yo. When you, I feel like problems got be a lot of money. What you do the six to the next morning, shit, that's what's supposed to make you happy. Like, <laughs> even if it's just to get another dollar or shit, just walk the park or yeah, draw or do it. some shit. I'm waiting, we, waiting on you. We waiting on you. I already took that hoe. I'm waiting on y'all. That nigga did not active. take that hoe, bro. We active. Why is it come empty then? He took that hoe, brother. Fuck. Yeah, but shit. But shit, so you got to put your money in the right place to make yourself happy. Okay, so I feel like this, right? I feel like he don't think he agree. He don't agree. I agree. Money can buy happiness. I ain't gonna lie. If I can pay five years of my fucking bills and not to worry about nothing financially, it can buy me motherfucking peace of mind. You know so I can start fucking working on myself. That start frame? taking time to That's myself. Start I wouldn't even. Hobby. I wouldn't even pay. Pay all my bills that far ahead. Sure, you would. never know what's gonna happen. But think about you know how much bread you gonna accumulate within that time frame. Yeah, you gotta worry about bills. But you, you never know what's shit. you never know what's gonna happen. Okay, though. two years. Fuck it. But see, if you got yeah, bread like that, shit, I'm pretty sure you ain't gonna throw a year all or two your is bread. reasonable. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about people that are wealthy. I ain't talking about rich, wealthy. They pay their shit like that. Think about it, you so busy for that time frame. You busy. Nah, I'm pretty sure you busy credit. now from Sunday to Saturday. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when you look up, shit, that 52 weeks then went by. You like, damn. I damn near forgot a whole year. I got some more shit that I ain't stopped yet. You book for that long, so it's like shit. When you really look up, shit, if you throw that towards that, think about how much money you're going to accumulate in that time frame. True. That's like paying your bills twice in one month. Think about with that two month time frame, you damn near going to be rich. I you just got to worry like, about nothing. All right, so I want to talk about something else real quick. Red nigga shit. I feel like we live in a generation where everybody's scamming. It's a common thing. Everybody scam. Who don't scam? Shit. Everybody fucking scam. That is what it is, right? <laughs> Gotta hit you a scam or two or take a risk or two. I swear to God. Man, Bitch, I text you about take a little risk uh, and prosper. I Try. text that nigga about a uh uh. He ain't even like, nah, I'm good. I'm like, <laughs> oh, can I say don't, Can I say something? Hell no. no I'm not gonna say what you said. I, I, I'm gonna give you my response to kind of reply to the text. Bitch, right, you have me so fucked up. Don't you ever text me that shit like that. That's why you feel like the first time. Like, stop texting me shit like that. that. But that that wasn't a scam. Yes, it was. Bro, I don't scam. Yeah, well, whatever. Even back then, I never scammed. I had a plug who scammed. I don't want no opportunities from you. Financially. <clears throat> hey, fuck if, you, dog. We can go to a yoga therapy. Hey, look, 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 this, this, look, look. This is what I'm going to tell you. My plug. Then I'm sitting with people. I'm like, oh, y'all ever heard this shit? They're like, you can <laughs> do it. what? Your, the SBA loan? They was like, you can do that shit yourself. Get your own shit. I you can like, do oh, it okay. yourself. You want some money from me? No, but I had a lady who do it, <laughs> bro. Fuck that lady. Fuck you, And your shit, your shit LLC, right? Yeah. You would have just got approved, bro. Oh, but I had but to look, give you something for it? No. Bro, you had to give the lady something? Fuck her. I was just put true. You could do Everything it yourself. On YouTube. You know how to do it yourself? On YouTube, yeah. Okay, but I'm saying, like, nigga, oh, YouTube, I was only yeah. putting on people who I fuck, you fuck with. with exactly. You know what I'm saying? Shut like, the fuck up. Like, Bro, I wasn't trying to get no bread. What you supposed to do? Don't put on no. Bro, I only. I, 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 if you fuck with me, why I gotta pay then? 
I mean, shit, that's just what the lady wants. Like I ain't gonna lie, she gotta do a hundred pages of like documents, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like she doing everything for you. And then if you had a real business, how could it be a scam? If you have a legitimate business, that's what. Mm. See, niggas fuck up what they ain't mm. got it. And they so you, want, you was trying to help her. See, no, you, I'm helping you. You was trying to help nigga. her. You're getting something. Hey. I get to them bands, bro. If I hit you up about them bands, my nigga, we getting some bands. Oh. And if you tell me no, that's on you because I have people who I have said no, no and, and, and like a two months later, we all had 80K and they said no. A 80 ball. A 80 ball <laughs> on my son, nigga. <laughs> Y'all think niggas look back at that PPP loan shit they did and look like, like, damn, I blew that shit quick. A lot of niggas don't know how to manage money, man. That's a lot of people me. ain't even, a lot of people choose the streets and they ain't even got a record. Huh? Facts. A lot of people choose the streets and they ain't got a record. Hey, they ain't no, even I'd decide like, to go get like, a, bro, have you a ever real been to jail? job and a bank account to even try in life. Like, have you ever been to jail? Hell no. Nah. Hell no, nah, bro. I clean record. Dummy, go get a job, bro. Like, but, but, you, but, but, but we we in this hole. We ain't even supposed to be in the streets. We ain't got a little record. You know what I'm saying? saying? Like you and, and these, these niggas out here ain't never been caught. Stupid. Go and, not, and ain't doing shit. At least shit. try, bro. Like at least try. If it, if it don't work out for you, then yeah, I ain't. I, I'm not promoting it. But do your thing. But don't just jump out like, well, my partner's doing it. You being a follower, bro. At least try. Anyway. Go to school. Some, do your thing. Y'all got some last shit y'all want to wrap up before we wrap it up? Anything y'all want to say? Questions? Anything? Topics? And all that shit? It's y'all eight ball, man. Make it worth it. Them hoes real. Yeah, Drew, you real? <laughs> no. Nah, that shit fake. I got that from the, uh, the 50 Cent Machine in Fiesta. Oh, that's what's up. <laughs> it's like Fiesta. <laughs> Nah, shout out Valencia Jury, you know what I'm saying? How's it real for real? Shout out Jimmy Boy. Hey, I swear to God I would have brought my diamond tester, Is it bro. real, yes or no? Oh, God. Okay, let me, hold on. You got a tester? Come on with it. Let's go! He should have been doing this shit. Like, a lot I'm of girls playing, be, I'm playing, I'm playing, I'm playing. Yeah, I'm playing. I'm playing. Yeah, I'm playing. I was excited. Bro, 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 Nigga gonna be in this hole. Bro, make sure you cut it. <laughs> bro, a lot of make niggas sure you be, bro, cut that's it. crazy. Bro, like, just make, wait your turn, But listen, bro. listen, listen. Make sure you cut the diamond tester all the way down. If you, nah, if you have it like Get up. the silver one, the one that tests for Morzenite. A lot of niggas don't know diamonds. Like, Morzenite, it'll pass for a diamond on a black one, but that shit don't be diamonds, yeah. bro. Yeah. Y'all gotta know y'all no shit. No cap. Like, know y'all awesome, shit. Yeah. He ain't know that shit, no cap. Shout out Jimmy Boy for the knowledge. You gotta know your diamonds, bro. Cause shit, so nigga, I don't know shit about diamonds. A nigga, bro, a nigga will right. give you diamonds and they Women will pass. Women too. Y'all be walking around so with the fat ass rings. But, but, look, but, look, but, look, but, look, but they don't be promoting their shit as real. That's why they get a pass. Nah. Other niggas are flexing shit like the bins. They be taking a picture of all yeah, that shit. Yeah, your diamond be nails. fake as hell. But they, yeah, they, 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 they not nigga with some bitch thirty bands. That's different though. But women flex a little different though. I can't stand that. Ass nigga like nigga, I'm, Hey I'm showing these bitches out Every time Every chance a motherfucker Get yeah, nigga These trophies nigga. Trophies God. goddamn. Nigga you work, hey, we, you work for that Nigga <laughs> And I ain't even got on No big shit today <laughs> Nigga Nigga really Then came down And came up Oh God Nigga used to wear That, that fake shit I swear to I God Hey did. everybody so Hey I'm man I'm honey about chains though I used to say like I used to be like Back in the day I used to be like oh, I don't want no chain That's too much right I, feel I the do same feel way, like bro. I do feel like now Yeah I do feel like Bust I do think shit like down, when I nigga? get a motherfucking bag or some shit, I'm be like, damn, I do want one. It's like, like it's like, why it's not? It's a trophy. Like you, I, mean, I feel like that shit's a said trophy. trophy. I, I don't like, like a trophy. Keep it like, like, when you bitch. see somebody out in public and you see they got a chain and you know it's real, like you you look at them differently. Like money, it's money, a money, it's a money, attract, symbol, like, money like, attracts money. Bro. But look at the sports I play. They get y'all all that shit. They get trophies on that shit. It's the same shit. Of course, all that shit's bullshit. Like I feel like all our life we've been growing up receiving trophies. I feel like a chain is just a trophy. It's a stamp. Yeah. It is. Some niggas go overboard with it. Like, hey, I am. Yeah, I right. Go overboard. Go overboard. With it. I change every episode. Don't let me be ignorant. Cuban link ring. I ain't gonna lie. If you get it like Cuban this, link bracelet. Get it Can I say my unpopular? Now I don't want to get canceled. It's okay. Huh? <laughs> I'm gonna we'll say talk about it. Nah, I'll talk nah. about camera. You feel like uh, it's an opinion, bitch. It's 50 50. Shit. Unpopular opinion. What? I'm asking everybody. How y'all feel about 6 9 that nigga funny in a bitch, I bro. Say I ain't this. gonna lie. I, don't disagree. I disagree with what he did, right? But he cool. I'm gonna hey, say this, bro. For one starter, he not a street nigga. Two. He got everybody bothered. I love two, it. Two. But you got to think about it. Ain't no nigga in the streets come tell him he finna get whacked. The feds came and say that man life. Hey, and I ain't no street nigga. I ain't nigga. saying he owed him no loyalty, but shit. If a nigga come no tell me nigga. that somebody finna come whack me, and I put them niggas on, I ain't gonna lie. I'm... But it's, it's like bro came in the game. 
like hiring these niggas to be his niggas. You know niggas. what I'm saying? I put y'all on. Y'all ain't put me on. I would have made it regardless. I feel like bro funny and bro making money. He and told too much with that playing with people that's doing all that shit. Yeah, but it's too much. All that shit. shit. Nobody gonna touch him. Man, don't shot him. Kill his shoulder back. I don't like Buddy from. I forgot where he from. Buddy knocked his ass out. Somebody gonna. He gonna keep getting touched, but he gonna keep doing what he doing. He don't care. Like facts. Let's take a shot before I wrap it up. Damn. Niggas hate. Yeah, like fuck, like fuck, gonna go along. Hey, so I wish you had that diamond tester, nigga. That's what I'm saying. Test my nigga teeth. Pop that shit on the guy. What? On the fuck, Come on, on the afters already, nigga. Go on here, catch a nigga in public throw a test, a nigga. Shout out. Pull the shots, pull the shots, pull the shots. Who did your shit, bro? Jimmy boy. Hey, shout out Jimmy boy. Shout out Valencia Jerry. I was with you and got the hoe. That was like that Chuck Cheese vending machine. Didn't even notice me. Hey, this is my first piece I ever got. Ever got this one right here? You know how I won't get my first chain? I want one of my friends to buy it. I do. Ah. I feel like it's gonna be so cold. I want my friends to like come to my birthday, give me a chain. I feel like it's gonna be so cold. So that's I want to buy it. For my hey, no, no cow. I, I, that's how I did it for my birthday. Wait, I, I, can I, I can get you. I can get you a chain, bitch. Look, I can get you a chain. I want a chain. So what's up to my mom? Let me get on live. I, 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 I can pull my phone up. Yeah. Damn. All right, y'all. So if y'all got a motherfucking question real quick, I'm going to take one question. If you got one question, I'm going to ask them one question before we wrap it up. I got one question. I'm going to show you who I got with me. Got one motherfucking question. Got one question, man. So I got one question. You ask me one question, I'm going to ask them whatever you want. You get on live with me, too. That's how I'm doing voicemails. That's how I start doing voicemails. I start doing voicemails like that. I'm going to get on this hoe. Wait, can I use your filter on live? I don't know why I'm not using my own shit. Let me go get that hoe. On live. What's up, Big Jade? How you doing, baby? Oh, damn. Hey, tell her, tell her to do a song with me, bro. Tell her to quit playing. She I know, can't tell her to do nothing for you. She know Cash Flow, Marco. Nigga, she from the 409, my nigga. Oh, yeah, you are from Bowman. Yeah, who? Boy, I ain't from no fucking Bowman. So you gonna sell her city right now? Huh? Huh? Mm. Well, I ain't, I'm from the motherfucking right, right, Anyways, y'all. I stay in PA if you got like a topic or question, anything, I'm gonna ask some motherfucking question before we wrap it up. We finna wrap it up right hey, motherfucking nope, now. Nope, nope. Put me on the camera. Put me on the motherfucking <laughs> camera, bro. You on the main <laughs> camera. Tell man. Jade, mm -hmm. Mo City JB. Said, let's do a motherfucking song. I want a motherfucking song. Why he look like he's scared? Mm -hmm. Y'all remember that video uh, when 6 9 was talking to that, that rapper next to her? He was <laughs> oh, like, oh, yo, fuck them niggas. <laughs> and she got the fuck up. She said, oh, let me get the fuck up. Okay, but anyways, all right. You so, you yeah. I need that feature. You didn't pour me a shot. You not pouring me shit, bro. Fuck. That's why I like I hoes on my show. I don't like no niggas on my show. Y'all niggas be acting like y'all want to post you. That's what I'm saying. Where that hoe at? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to tell you finish your own bottle. Shit. That's bad look. Damn. All right, we got a question. We got a question. Here we go. What is the freakiest thing y'all ever done? Ooh. This is from A. I don't know how to say it, but it's something. Freakiest Ooh. thing? Mm-hmm. Girl, I'm, I'm, I'm eating that booty. That's <laughs> I ain't allowed a threesome. Shit, that's a threesome? Freakiest. Threesome? Yeah. Folsom. No, like right, freakiest right, right. thing. Like, like you like. Yeah, you popping out two bitches. Hey, shit or some shit. Oh, no, nah, that ain't freaky. That's you ate some shit? That's hell nice. Ate some shit. Ate some shit. Hell no. Nah. For sure. Y'all suck toes? I just sucked some toes. I just sucked toes. I ain't gonna lie. I suck toes when I'm drunk in a bitch. Like, I just suck toes sober. Bitch, you done that. Lie, if they I'm pretty here, I'll do it. But I ain't gonna lie. If I'm drunk, lie. It's, it's guaranteed. That shit dirty as fuck. Y'all took our shot, though? No, let's take our shot. Come on. Yeah, come on with it. ba da ba ba da 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 Take a shot with us at home. All right, ask us one more question. I'm finna get off so we can wrap it up, y'all, because I'm super, I'm a whole hour late to it. Hey, man. if y'all got a question, Just I'm on the after party right now. Ask me some questions. I'm a, ooh, shit. My shit going crazy, low key. Y'all ask me a question. Y'all got one question. We on L. Yeah, you got one motherfucking question, y'all. But y'all people at home, pull your motherfucking shot. Gonna take one more shot before we wrap it up, because oh, we know we're doing this shit. Look, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we that's that on that. When niggas come to the show, y'all don't get to do all that cop out of that shit because you're not a bit. Oh, they asking questions in this fucking app. I'm sorry. Hey, wait, wait till that whole drop. They done and did it. Uh, okay, well, I'm not reading all that. So basically, y'all, what's your Instagram name? So we wrap it up. Ooh, that's them kind of messages I'm talking about. Hey, I'm Mo City JB, the motherfucking pretty guy. You know what I'm saying? At Mo City underscore JB. Y'all go look me up, go Google me. I got a good stream of music. Man. Somebody just asked me a good question. What's that question? What it is? What's your Instagram name first? I see rich. I C E Y Y Rich. The question is, who can win in a fight between all y'all, me? I ain't I'm whooping ass. Nah. I'm throwing elbows and knees. Niggas ain't expecting them. Nope. Just to let you know, nigga, nigga nope. kickbox, so shit. If a nigga really want them issues. The question was who I'm can win in a fight between all y'all? And they said me. That's a cap. 
I'm gonna cut the camera. I'm gonna like fuck up the eater right now. This cat. I'm making like y'all said me. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna say a nigga ain't gonna have a good fight, but shit, I ain't gonna lie. I'm bidding on myself. Regardless, they said me. I love y'all too. Appreciate y'all for stepping in. So this time I'm gonna do my voice for now, y'all. So I'm gonna just get on live or randomly when I'm recording, y'all. Whoever get on the fuck up. That's how I'm doing my voice. This is much easier. Y'all they calling me shit hard. So thank y'all on live. I'm thinking it off now. I think BJ is sixty low key. Big J, she is. She I think she's she six. Oh, so. I give it to her for shit, so. All right, y'all. But anyways, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, she aggressive. That's what I like about her. So y'all fuck like y'all fuck like a like a a, a, a dominate bitch. Hey, I yeah, want to be yeah. dominated, damn near. Yes. I'm tired of being a dominator. Well, nigga don't want to always lead, bro. That's what I'm nigga saying. Nigga don't always want to initiate. Sometimes just she digging my pants. Okay, so y'all let a bitch get like, your ass. Goddamn. <laughs> what y'all let a bitch get your ass? Nah. I ain't gonna lie, you out of there. So that means you wanna fuck a dominant bitch. Cause that means I've had a lot shit. of bitches. That don't make her dominant, bro. Shit, bro. Like, uh, yeah, bro. Like, stop asking that shit. That shit is disgusting. How's that disgusting, bitch? <laughs> you eat ass? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I eat ass, but all of my ass. Hey, if I no, fuck with you, like, we tough, bro. we locked in, like, I might, yes. But other than that, no. Fuck man, no. look at the camera right now and say you don't eat ass. Man. I don't eat ass. I don't eat ass. Hey, ass. I eat ass. Yes, hey. See, if I eat your ass, tap in. Real shit. If I eat your ass, tap in. I eat she ass. say you do. Who? <laughs> hey, Mo City JB. Man, anyway, y'all, ass. thank y'all for tapping to the motherfucking After Party podcast. We got new labels and shit now. Y'all, the little Instagram is gonna look different now. Yo, and we got yo, motherfucking yo. little banners and shit like that now. Yo, so you're gonna see the Instagram name, all that shit. I ain't gotta say all that shit no more. We ain't gotta do all that shit no more. We got the Discord link, all that shit. Make sure y'all join yo, the motherfucking make Discord. Make sure y'all tap into the Discord. Like, hey, the really, Discord really lucky, really be interesting. You know how it really lit. Lucky. Tap in. Drop it to it's a Discord. It's like a, it's like a big, big ass group, group chat. Oh, shit. Like, got people from all over the fucking like states. Oh, shit. Yeah. The fuck you ain't telling me about this shit. I seen a link. It's easy. It's like, you know what Discord is? I'm going to get in that hole and just yeah. be talking shit to people. That's all and then the, I got like a little tab. You can, promote your, you can promote your music, all that shit. I got like a tab for all, all that shit, like that. black-owned business. Oh, yeah. Shit. Oh, yeah. Put me in that hole. So, yeah, I got you. Network. It's all about network. So, yeah. Thank you all for tapping into the... Huh? I'm trying to eat some... Oh, God. A, hey, I'm trying to eat some ass free. on your podcast, bro. What? What? <laughs> tap into Women the OnlyFans. What are you saying? No only fans right here, <laughs> bitch. If you find y'all, if I was to start shooting porn, I did after Zardy after Zardy. I ain't gonna lie, I'm tapping hey. in. <laughs> the, the, the no, I really want to start. You like, know, I really want to do what I really do. I want to start like Zardy? I want to start like getting the camera footage. You trying to get flipped on the after? I want to start getting the security in, camera footage and be like, this is what happened after their show. Hey, yeah, for shit show. I should start reversing the camera footage and be like, prior to this, and then start the episode. For shit show. Hey, next theme song. What we do next theme song? That's gonna be the footage. I'm gonna get all the footage. Y'all be fucked up in this motherfucker after y'all done the show. And I'm be like, oh, here go the ass was already, y'all. That'd be a tough ass TikTok. They say one of y'all finding the bitch. Say, they say well, they wanna. They say they wanna. One. Which one? They say he. So that's one bitch. Which one? The handsome nigga express. Oh me. I'm playing. They got something. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, anyways, y'all, but thank you guys for having some motherfucking Azazari podcast, y'all. So now, right, I'm a, I am don't know, I'm going to talk to my team about it. I might switch the voicemails to do live instead. I feel like live is faster instead of me waiting on the fucking calls and shit like that. Because I feel like I be getting calls by ignorant shit. And y'all going to see the, when y'all watch the last episode, y'all saw the ignorant shit I get. And y'all, I'm going to tell y'all now, I'm putting your phone number on blast when you say some ignorant shit. I'm going to let you fucking call your bitch ass. Don't fucking come play with me. I don't care what the legal laws are, bitch. I will fucking go to jail behind it. It ain't nothing but 24 hours. Text free app on okay. me. Okay. Text free app on me, bitch. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, thank y'all for stepping I'm going to give y'all one more question. What? <clears throat> Do y'all got a question? Do we have a question? Yeah. Did y'all have fun? All right. All right. Look, 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 look. Yeah, I got, got a real a spicy out. question. What's up, bro? Nigga said a spicy. Drop the name of the best person you had sex with. Drop their name right now. Go first. And it can't be the, it can't be somebody you with right now. With me? Yeah. Hold on. What was the question? I'm, I'm texting. What was the question? Who gave you the best pussy in your world? Why did I do that? <laughs> hey, I ain't gonna lie. I'm not answering hey, he that. Go first. No, he gotta go first. Don't be a bitch. Hey, I'm gonna go. Hey, with, the question is, who gave you the best pussy? Say the name. Go. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with this. On the way to the party, excuse us for the tardy. Had to pick up a Mari and cop some Bacardi. Bought tennis boys some shots. So I'm starting to get high. He ain't the five bitch, I think not You can't stand in this spot Oh, I hope to the DJ This a song you finna play Let me grab that mic Oh, I'm feeling right Ain't no worries, ain't no stress tonight We a little drunk, so be polite Staring at me, oh, what a light I guess you got some stage right Oh, DJ, turn these lights all out Come and meet me on the dance floor Play something nice and slow So DJ, turn these lights all low. Come and meet me on the dance floor Play something nice and slow We gon' go all night, we gon' go all night Tonight. 
night I ain't no sleep tonight We gon' go all night We gon' go all night Don't care we do it right Who cares we do it right We gon' live our life We gon' live our life I ain't no sleep tonight I ain't no sleep tonight So now I got you on the dance floor And you feeling yourself, you trying to let me know What you all about, trying to figure me out Talking about you on the one nine at 69 The club clubs I had to, ain't leaving my friends for you What you really trying to do, not really good at taboo Dancing for too long, sponsor like ping pong So before the night ain't wrong Better make a move on this song So DJ, turn these lights on low Come and meet me on the dance floor Play something nice and slow So DJ, turn these lights on low Come and meet me on the dance floor Play something nice and slow We gon' go all night, we gon' go all night Don't care we do it right, who cares we do it right Live our life. Live it up. I ain't no sleep tonight. I ain't no sleep tonight.